and kept on doing it, just kept on punching me. Lyric kept on punching me. This man literally punched me in my jaw. Right? And I looked over and I see blood on the wall. He tells my brother to punch me as well. And my brother did not want to do it. My brother did not want to punch me in my jaw. And so it was like someone would just tell me, Shamar, you better fight him back. So I'll fight him back. He picked me up and threw me on the ground. At that time, I couldn't even breathe. I was out of breath. And so, after I was out of breath, it was something that I did. And I went and I told my mom that I was sorry. About what, what what I was doing and stuff. And my mama looked at my jaw. And all she would think about is just yelling at her. She yelled. What don't happen to my baby face? I just knew right then and there. That I had a family that didn't care. And when I say my family was because I don't, like I said, I don't know this guy. I didn't even know this guy. I didn't even know him when I was a baby. Never seen him, never met him, none, none of that. At that time, I knew right then and there. That my sister was just, you know what I'm saying? Even though that isn't my sister and I love her and stuff, but at that time, me all wasn't really getting along like that. Me all wasn't really getting along like that. So, the guy, I guess she thought God that he's her brother. And me personally, I just can't, you know what I'm saying, call nobody my brother if I don't know you. And so, Ever since that happened, and every time I see him, I don't even speak to him. I keep my distance away from him. Because let me tell y'all, if my daddy would have been here, my daddy is daddy gone as well. If my daddy would have been here, my daddy would have never hurt this man bad. My daddy would have never hurt this man very bad. Like, if my daddy was still here, he would have been hurt this man. I'm telling y'all, no lie, no none of that. What I see, like, if my family have an event or anything, or, or anything, and we have a, or we have a family reunion or something, or we have a family that's got to get together, and she invite him or he just come out. I'm telling y'all, every time I look at him, I, I be just looking at him and I just, I couldn't even stand him. Even if he would have spoke to me, I would have walked away. Because I know what he did to me. I know is that what he did to me. Like I said, I don't not, I did not know this guy at all. I didn't. I didn't even know him. When I was a little child, I did not know this guy. This man, I never seen this guy. I never even saw this guy. I never did none of that. I never did none of that. And now all of a sudden, she got him to attack me, and I was just like, literally just like, 
I own my own sister out of everything. She could have literally just talked to me and said, just getting somebody to put their hands on me. This man is not related to me. He's not my brother. He's not nothing. I'm telling y'all, I could have been had this man locked up. I could have been had this man arrested. Literally, I could have been had this man fucking arrested. Even when I called the police and I told them what was going on, they even told me that if they try to do anything like that, run out the house and call the police. Run out the house and call the fucking police. And he wasn't around me. He was around my sister. And like I said, at that, at that time, me and my sister wasn't getting along like that. We wasn't really getting along like that. So at that, at that time, it was just... I don't know what made her bring him around and just start like literally just telling her and telling him about me and telling him about what I done and stuff like that. I don't know what made him, made her do some stuff like that, but I have been improved, y'all. Like, I really have. I've been through a lot with my family as well. I even ran away from home. I ain't even ran away from home. I didn't even want to be in the house. I used to stay out all night. It was just a lot that I was going through with my family. But at the end of the day, I still loved them no matter what. I still loved them no matter what. No matter what we go through, no matter how we go through it, no matter what it is, I still loved them. But I have been improved as well, like literally. And when I say every time I see this guy, I do not be want to, I do not want to, I, I be just, when I see him, I just couldn't stand him. I couldn't literally look at him. I couldn't do nothing. Even if he would have kind of spoke to me, I would have walked away. Literally, I would have walked the fuck away. Because I know what he done to me. This man punched me in my jaw. Blood was on the wall. They hurry up and cleaned it up because they know that if I would have called the police, they would have went to jail. If I would have called the police, they would have went in jail. They would have really went in jail. And I was just being so for real, like, I'm not even fucking lying, I'm not joking, I'm not laughing, I'm not nothing. I was dead ass for real. I would not be sitting up here lying to nobody. I have been through a lot of shit. But I, I, I always tell myself she want to be strong. Be strong. Keep doing what you got to do. Be strong. Just know that you will be okay. Just know that you will be good. Just know that this, just, just know that this will never happen again. Never happen again. This shit really hurted me when he did this, y'all. Like, literally, this shit really hurted me when he did this. I'm telling y'all, I just, they did not want me to literally.